I bought a country. These intros just keep getting better. How's it going? My name is Dallas aka Inferness. And welcome back to the Tekka Realm. I actually bought an island and legally made it a country. And then I named it Rickroll Land. I should probably get closer to this thing. Let's talk about that. So how did that happen? Well, buyanisland.com. You can seriously, like, buy anything at this point. Just put a .com at the end. Well, it's actually called this website, and this is where the whole story starts out. So it's called Private Islands, Inc. Don't even think about it. You can't afford it. Is what their slogan would be if I didn't have a completely stonk strategy up my sleeve. Because all dead memes aside, I can't afford any of these. Like, just look at it. A whole years of allowance of Robux. Seriously, just wouldn't even be able to cut this. $300,000 here, which is pretty much on the low side. $1 million? $100 million? Slamming. Surprisingly, I happened to stumble upon a pretty decent offer. There was a much larger island, basically like a chain of islands, that was being sold for a measly $300,000 by this dude going by Adam, the Island Man. So this is the original listing, but underneath all this was a link to something even more interesting. But there's, a, there's apparently other islands in this whole island chain for sale. The cheapest one being $10,099. Well, that's conveniently specific. But look, the goal here is to buy a country and turn it into Rickroll land, not to Rickroll my wallet into a grave. So, this is at least an improvement. I wanted to know just what kind of thing you'd be getting for such a discount, considering the most of the main island was literally the size of your house. I wouldn't mind settling for Bikini Bottom if I had to, but god dang. That ain't much. Why are islands so expensive? They're not even that cool. I mean... Wait a second. Atlantis. One dollar. Well, I take that back. Do they let literally anyone just post stuff on here? Zillow? So since this guy was just offering such an amazing thing, the islands of Fish K are on the western edge of the luxurious Caribbean archipelago with lush trees, beaches, and more. Only a two-hour plane from Miami. Our 1 to 25 acre islands are beautiful, secluded choice for your personal purchase. And we know the satisfaction will be real. Well, if they say the satisfaction will be real, then that's a good deal for me. So, I contacted them to see if just maybe I could slightly get those numbers limboing down a bit more. All of my training in extreme business negotiations have led me to this moment. Hello, my name is Lean Bowser. I'm interested in one of your islands up for sale. I'm a connoisseur of islands and I'm a frequent collector, but I've always wanted to have one in the location you're offering. Be it just a childhood dream or just my calling. I just have a connection to nature, you know? I hope you can understand. My main interest is to acquire one of your amazing ocean havens for my own ownership for that reason. I'm very open to negotiations of price. Thank you. So after that extremely formal introduction, we got into business. Hi, Lean. What are you looking for? We have plenty of options to choose from. As mentioned in our posting, we have mostly all availability. Is there any property that you have most in mind? Thanks for your quick response. I'm just so happy to be alive and breathe the fresh ocean air. This world is a beautiful place, so it would be hard for me to choose since they're all so nice. How about the least expensive? No problem. On a normal occasion, our least expensive property is a 1.4 acre excursion of Fish K. The general asking price is 109000 For non-primary islands, we sell the smallest example of ours for 10099 This is a 0.5 acres. However, we do already have a leaser that is putting up a small piece of property tagged on another island. It's about 0 0.43 acres. Based on these options, would you have something in mind? How much for the last one? 
I'm really excited to have a cozy small retreat place. After talking with one of the leasers, it's on the table to have an even bigger 0.6 acre island nearby for 3,700. It is more remote and has little resources. The owner is selling it for lack of use. Lack of use? That sure sounds like I could put it to some use. And that's such a good bargain. I would just like to note the fact that the person doesn't even seem all that surprised the way I presented myself. As if it's really just a normal thing, the type of person buying islands is just going to act like this. And it's probably correct. But overall, after this point, we pretty much got to the, to the point of purchasing this island. And it was really a pretty smooth process. All it really took was some explanation, and then of course the payment itself. I was able to snag this thing for literally only $3,000. Now I'm broke. But just let it sink in. That's actually pretty good. Like seriously, for a whole island, even though it's like not even an island. They also said I would need an additional permit in order to plan or develop or basically build anything on it. You can't build anything on it. Because the island in question is, well, this thing, as we could see. It's right west of this kind of crooked island called Crooked Island. And it's all the way out in the middle of nowhere. There it is. That's the island I purchased. Now, of course, on the basis of what they explained, the only reason why this small piece of nothing was only $3,000 is because one of their owners, who's not this guy, was selling it just because it was not really of use to them. And it's so small and so far away from anything and it literally has nothing on it as you can see. Just like real estate, it's all about location. Like this kind of an island right here, even though this one, which we were able to get for 3000 the one over here, which is the biggest one I guess, would probably be going for like maybe a million just because of all the trees resources on there and it's a little bit closer and more accessible this thing is literally nowhere but it is in the caribbean and that's always a good thing the only way i can get here is by taking a plane after taking a plane after taking a plane first i have to take a plane to here then i have to take another plane to here then i have to take a plane a really really small plane to here and then <laughs> well i gotta swim all the way here well i'll probably find out another way of getting there but we're gonna get there so how do i make a country out of all this that's great i got an island and whatever so well it turns out it's pretty scarily easy at least as far as the caribbean goes honestly there's probably so many custom made countries by people just owning an island that even this doesn't even make me finally special. All you need is proof that you own land, and you can submit a request to constitute your own exclusion zone around it to the Bahamas government. This is apparently a normal thing. You get the airspace to yourself, and you can also request a custom name for the zone for an extra fee. You literally need to pay $200 per acre to make a country. And of course, in this process, I elected to name it Rickroll Land. So that's epic. Well, now that the easy part is done. Oh, there it is. Bikini Bottom. Okay, here we are. Now I just gotta figure out a way to get from here to there, pretty much. All right, cool. Look at this. It's actually pretty freaking warm, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so this is the whole island that I just bought, and we're about to turn it into Rickroll land. This could be a nice place to plant Rick Astley forever, and uh, we got like a nice luxurious cove over here as well. Yeah, and also like the most deserted area of land probably in hundreds of square miles. So this is what $3,000 will buy you in terms of private islands. It's very, very small, but overall, I think it was worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and plant this flag now. What is a good place? Is this a good place?
I feel like this is the ritual on how to unlock or summon the largest underground monster boss in Eldrin Ring. There's Rick. And just like that, I invented the Rick Roll Country. It really is pretty majestic. It's like waving like an NPC or something, like it's meant to be that. Alright, here, check it out. Not bad. Uh, yeah, like, frick. Look at that. Anyone who comes across this is just gonna be like, what the fudge? So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, basically, that's all I have for this video. So, I just made a country. Stand for the national anthem. So that happened. And what have we learned here today? We learned that all you need to do is basically go to buyanisland.com or .org or something else and buy an island, negotiate a tiny 50 foot long piece of sand in the middle of the ocean, and then just simply ask it, the government to make it a country, and you can make Rickroll land. And now there's a flag standing in the middle of the ocean with Rick Astley's face on it. It took 2,000 years of all of mankind's development, and thousands of years before even that, to get to the point where anyone even did that. You're welcome! So now that you've gotten this far into the video, I have to just say that if you haven't yet made the button which is conspicuously about two inches below this screen here gray, well, you'll be missing out on 10 years of good luck, so make sure you make that gray. And with all that being said, my name is Dallas aka Inferness, of course, and I'll see you in the next video where we will probably not be buying another country, but you never know. So just in case you want to stay tuned. Anyways, goodbye.